Okay, let's uh, let's use the T method to solve some mechanical advantage issues. Now, I've made two videos on compound pulley systems. I did a 12 to 1 to an 18 to 1, then I did a 15 to 1 to a 27 to 1. And um, some people had some questions on how I arrived at that. And so I've drawn everything out. Um, and we're going to go through this together and we're going to start with a 12 to 1. And what you see here is a 12 to 1. If you watch my other videos, you'll see this in, uh, with actual pulleys and rope and a real tractor. But we're just going to do it on paper. And I'm going to show you the, um, the system on how to arrive at the mechanical advantage. Okay. So. We always start at the input. The input is right here. It, that's the rope you're pulling on. Okay. And we use the T method, which um, there's really no, you know, designation as far as force or anything like that. Um, it's just a unit. Okay. A unit of T. Okay. T for tension. Okay. So we're going to start here. If we start here and pull as one tension okay so one tension here um, this force is going to go around the pulley one tension here going down now off of this pulley you have two tensions you have a t here and a t here so on this prusik right here you have two t okay so Going down the line, remember this force is continuous. The T comes down through here around this pulley, and it's going to have a force of 2T at the anchor. The 1T comes up to, remember, we're going to continue on that line. The T is going to encounter the 2T at the prusik. Okay, whenever that happens, we add these together. So the input coming into this pulley here is going to be 3T. Okay, so 3T comes around. 3T coming down. Okay, so 3T, 3T, 3T. It would be 6T at the anchor here. We're doing 3T coming in. 3T. Comes around 3T. Okay. And then that 3T continues all the way back to the anchor. Okay. So we add our forces up. Okay. At the two pulleys that are attached to our tractor, we have 3T plus 3T plus 3T plus 3T. Um, that is a 12 to 1. Okay. 6 and 6. You know, three, fours, 12, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so this is a 12 to 1. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So the input is 1T, the final product, I should write that, is it 6T and 6T, and then both of those add up to 12T. Okay. So there you go, one input of T, the final output is 12T, so this is a 12 to one. And it's exactly, um, if you look at my video, uh, what I did with that tractor. Okay, so let's move on to how I changed the 12T, or I'm sorry, the 12 to one into a 18 to one. So this is what I've, what I did, okay, this is the configuration, and uh, basically all I did was um, take this middle pulley that was here and attach it with a prusik to right here, okay, so let's do the T method, so I got one T going in, remember this is my input, the, the final rope I'm pulling on goes around the pulley to one T, going out, that gives a force of 2T at the 
Prusik. Okay, 1t comes down, goes around, 1t comes out. This is 2t at the anchor. Okay, now 1t is meeting up at the 2t, and just like in the previous example, this is going to be 3t going into this pulley and 3t exiting the pulley. Okay, so this is going to be 6t right here. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so 3t and 3t, which is um, 6t down here. So 3t comes up, comes up through here. The 3t meets the 6t, and that's going to give you 9t here going in. 9t exiting and 9t is going to terminate at the anchor. Okay, so if we add these two together, that's that's 18t. So 18 to 1. That's 18 to 1 just by moving one pulley with an, an additional prusik. All right, so that's the first video on compound pulleys. Um, part two is what we'll cover next. And this is going to end up being a 15 to T, or 15 to one. And let's just go through the T method. Okay, here's our input. I got T going in, T going out. That's two T at the Prusik. T coming down, T coming out, it's 2T at the anchor. We're coming up, the 1T meets the 2T, so this is a 3T. 3T coming out, so both of those together is 6T. Okay, so now we have, we're carrying 3T going in, 3T going out, that's 6T. At the anchor, so the three uh, comes in to the first pulley, 3T, exits 3T, so this is 6T. Okay. 3T comes down, 3T exits, this is 6T down here. And 3T terminates at the load, which is the tractor. Okay, so we, we add all of our forces acting upon the tractor. 6 plus 6 plus 3 is 15. So you have 15T. So this is a 15 to 1 mechanical advantage. Okay, so... Now I'm going to convert this into a 27 to 1 um, by moving um, a couple pulleys. Okay, so in the, one of my viewers, um, um, my last um, example, I'm going to show you what he was describing, how I didn't need to do an additional step to get the same um, um, mechanical advantage, which I'll show in the last step. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's go through this. Um, this should be uh, 27 to 1. So let's go through the, the T method. So I got 1T going around, 1T exiting. This is 2T at the first Prusik. I got 1T going in, 1T exiting. This is 2T at the anchor. 1T meets the 2T, which creates a 3T. So I got 3T entering the pulley, 3T exiting the pulley, which creates, remember you add these two together. This was 6T at the second 
uh, Prusik. Okay, so I've got 3T coming down, 3T exiting, there's a 6T here, 3 is, the 3T here is going to meet the 6T, which is 9T, 9 tensions here, and it's going to give you 18 tensions at this Prusik here. So we have 9T here, so 9T going in, 9T exiting. This is 18T here at the anchor. And the 9T, again, we add these two together. Whenever uh, the prusik is attached to the rope, we add these two forces together, and that's going to give you 27T. Okay, and again, if you want, if you want a real life example, watch the videos of how I did it in real life. Okay, so I got 27 T as my output, and, and my input is 1 T. So this is a 27 to 1. Now, an astute uh, viewer said, "Hey, why don't you just leave this pulley attached to your tractor and not put this prusik here?" and you'll achieve the same effect and it'll save you some work. Okay, so let's, I've drawn that out. Let's, let's do the T method on that. Okay, so this is what I could have done, but I didn't do, um, but I could have. And so I got one T going in. This is two T here. Okay, T here. I should have put that there. Um, T here. This is 2T at the anchor. The 1T meets the 3T coming up. So this is 3T. 3T. Add those two together. This is 6T here. Okay. So the 3 comes down. 3T. 3T. 6T at the anchor. The 3 meets the 6. Okay, remember we're carrying this 3T around, it's coming up. That means it's 9T, 9T, this is 18T right here. And then the 9 continues down, we got 9T going in, 9T going out, that's 18T at the anchor. The 9T terminates at the tractor. And it's the same principle, uh, 18 plus 9 is 27. So, I think that the, the person's name was Anatoly something. Um, thank you for pointing that out. So, I'm going to let you look at that for a second. This is what I did in the video to get my 27T. This was the better suggestion to get the same mechanical advantage in saving a step. Okay, so this is sort of an addendum um, to those two videos, but it's also a good uh, exercise in just doing the T method. So hopefully this helps and uh, hopefully you get something out of it. And uh, it further explains what I'm doing.